Okay, this is just an example of a typical sort of exam question you might get in trigonometry. Let's just get right into it. Okay, here we go. They say there's this triangle ABC, ABC, and they say that AC is 17 centimeters. Ooh, that's the hypotenuse. I can see it's the hypotenuse. And BC is 8 centimeters. And AB is an unknown. It's X. So the first thing they want you to do is determine the value of X. Determine the value of X. Well, you don't know what theta is, so you can't use trigonometry yet. So what you have to do is Pythagoras, which is X squared plus 8 squared equals 17 squared. But what you're going to do is you square the long side, square the short side, subtract them, and take the square root. Do that on your calculator, 17 squared minus 8 squared, square root it, and you'll get that x is 15 centimeters. There's the first question. Now that we know that's 15, we can work out the tangent of theta, which would be opposite over adjacent. You have to name the signs to be able to do that. Opposite over adjacent, that would be 15 over 8. And the cosine of theta would be 8 over 17 because 8 is adjacent and 17 is hypotenuse. So Katoa tells me the, the ka part, A over H, adjacent over hypotenuse is cosine. Now it's just a matter of taking the um, tangent theta and cosine theta and substituting in those fractions. If we do that, 16 times 15 over 8 is 30. 17 times 8 over 17 is 8. Your answer is 38 units, 38 centimeters, actually. Okay, the last thing. Let's figure out what theta is. Well, we've got our choice. We could use three different trig functions to fig figure out um, theta. Let's see which one I chose to use. I chose tangent. So that the tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent, 15 over 8. Then just ask your calculator, shift 10 of 15 over 8, and it'll tell you in one step that theta must be 61, comma, 93 degrees. Okay, so that's an example of a exam question.